Welcome to this energy clearing. I had just done um, an oracle reading and I had my throat was getting really activated as I was going through the cards. So I take that as an indicator to do a clearing, a healing for anything that would be blocking you from really expressing your truth, from finding what is that truth and going out and sharing it with the world. <laughs> Let's do that. Hi, I'm Linda Armstrong, energy healer and spiritual awakening coach. And as I was saying, we're going to do a clearing right now for the throat chakra, for you, know, for you um, expressing your truth out in the world, right? Maybe even for finding what that truth is. We'll just see how the energy wants to flow. So I would just invite you right now to just take a nice deep breath in and gently letting it out, right? Just feeling your breath, like your, your breath will really connect you to that inner knowing, that inner truth, that really calm place within you where magic exists. So take another deep breath in gently easily letting it out another deep breath in bypassing your chest going right to your belly really filling your belly up and then gently letting it out and so one more breath in hold it now for six seconds Then gently, easily letting it out. And just continue breathing in an easy, comfortable manner. However you, however your breath wants to settle in with you. And I would invite you to imagine that as you're breathing in, you're just calling back energy that you've scattered out and about. Calling back your own energy, really filling yourself up with that energy. And as you do on the breath out, you're releasing energies you've taken on from others. Just letting it go. You don't need to hold that, right? Just letting it go. So just easily breathing in, breathing out, feeling your body relax as you do, feeling your body getting heavier, sinking into the chair or the surface that you're sitting on or lying on. Just letting yourself, as if you can expand your energy outwards. Maybe you start to feel yourself sort of like as if you have this um, bubble all around you, right? But not a bubble, it's just you're feeling your energy expanding out past your body, right? So I want you to imagine now that you're extending that energy of yours out further and further, like 20, 30 feet, feeling your energy above you, below you, around you, in all directions, and expanding out now 100 feet, just with your imagination. And you can feel that it's already starting to get a little harder to feel where you end. And now go out like a thousand miles, really extending out. And why not, why end it there, right? We can't even feel where that ends, where that thousand miles ends. So why don't we just imagine we're sending it out and we're just, wrapping it around the whole earth. So it's like the earth is included within all of your energy and you're just feeling your, the truth of yourself, which is your connection to the everything that is. So as you expand out, it's almost like, a, it's like you, that separation starts to dissolve and you just feel yourself a part of everything. You know, you feel yourself a part of the trees and the grass and the sky. You feel yourself a part of all the different countries in the world. Why not? Just feel yourself expanding out. And so from this place of expansion, I want to just, we'll just channel some clearings that want to come in around. Well, I'm assuming we're going to clear around the throat chakra, but we'll see what comes in. Sometimes they take me off on another journey. So just at this moment, I'm just gonna I'm just 
connecting and asking where we'll begin this healing today. Okay, so right there. So anything that would prevent you from experiencing and feeling your energy as expanded out into the everything, anything that would prevent that and forbid that from being your experience, we now pull it, send it to the light, just releasing those energies that would prevent you from really expanding outward. And now just pulling in so much light into your whole field and expanding that light out. So it's really a great way to, if you want to, one way to assist the planet with all that's happening these days is just to pull so much light in and feel yourself expanding into that light and then sending that very light, the intention of sending that very light out to everyone and everything that is alive on this planet. Yeah. You know, because we cannot create for other people, right? So we're expanding our energy out and we're feeling ourselves as connected to everything. But yet, you know, there's individual beings who um, maybe have no clue of what that feels like, right? So as we draw this light in and feel ourselves expand, we could also intend to send that same expansion, that same love and that light out to the world to all of those who are ready to receive it. And just sending love and healing to the world, right? Just sending it out there. And the more that you can step into your power and ability to just sit here and listen on this video and just with your mind follow along with my words, you actually are expanding your energy out. So if you can sit quietly, right, uninterrupted, you can start to really feel this energy. And it could just feel almost like this cushion of the warmth all around you, right? Or you might just feel like tingling sensations. You might feel like an aliveness about you that you can't even put into a physical sensation, but yet you know it, right? So it's moving beyond the mind by utilizing your imagination expanding beyond what you think you've been told as to what is real and what isn't real, right? And just making your own rules right here, right now for these couple of moments as we clear out anything that's preventing you from really finding your truth, from knowing it, sensing it when it arrives, right? So whatever might prevent you from really feeling, sensing, and knowing that truth. Even if it just makes you, takes like you take a second look like, what, what? something just happened there, but I don't even know what it was. <laughs> Anything that would prevent you from sensing energies and to just know beyond knowing what it means for you. So, okay, so any, any vows, oaths, or decisions that have you or make compel you to have to understand it all, to have to know exactly what is what, to have to have like a, it's like a, I'm seeing it like a cube, like this contains all the information that that is and you could read it and see it and know it. Anything that prevents you to bust that cube open to be able to have the experience without having to analytically or logically or even mathematically know what that is, <laughs> right? It's moving beyond knowing. Yeah, so what I'm hearing is you know how to know, like you know it, it's a part of you, but it's only these outside influences that you had throughout this life and many other lifetimes that dictate to you or make you feel like you don't know what you know. Because ultimately, all the truth that is you, it is within you. You have access to it at all times. And you may even just meditate and not even feel logically that anything's going on, yet energetically you feel something different, right? Or, or you're just walking around your day and all of a sudden you feel like a little a little jolt of some sort, like a mini earthquake and, and nothing, nobody else feels it but you, right? Or where you have, um, you know, 
maybe you're picking up on frequencies within your ears and maybe you have like a, a pulsing that happens in your ears so I've been having a lot of that lately that's why I'm, I'm using that as an example but it comes in so many different ways or even sometimes you're like you just feel something shifted and you have no idea what it is so we want to go into being able to trust and know that it that it is your higher knowing coming in that you are being downloaded with information that is moving you forward on your path even through all the craziness going on in the world at this moment as I'm filming this video in uh, November of 2020 yes yeah, so I just feel that buzz like here I am I'm looking at my camera right I'm talking to the camera but yet I'm not, I don't feel I don't feel at all connected to it. It just happens to be something kind of there because my energy is so expanded. It's almost like everything that's within this room is just like been absorbed into my energy. <laughs> right? Not me going into it. It's like it's coming into me. So see what your body senses on that statement, right? So just anything that would prevent you or forbid you from really feeling and sensing energy to sense the different nuances and tiny little shifts that occur in your day to day. Let's uncreate, destroy all of that. Just releasing it all, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Just lifting it, sending it to the light. Yeah, and just downloading. Once again, I don't know if I've done this yet or not, but we're just going to download what it feels like to trust what you know beyond knowing it. Okay, really getting into the energy of things, totally not in the mind, just feeling it. Yeah, and that's what this is coming down to a lot more. It's just feeling what is, tr that's how you feel what is true for you by opening your connection to the, to, to the everything. So this expansion, how we're expanding into this energy here right now. Let yourself go with it. And if you don't feel it the first time, watch this again. Maybe do it two or three times and start to feel yourself just kind of growing, expanding. So right now I'm seeing this picture of this, uh, it was like a, I guess it was like a rosebud and it just opened up into this beautiful open flower, right? So it's like allowing yourself to just be that flower to open up with the light that's perfect yeah that's perfect right so the light is coming in and as this light is coming in and you're just calling it in right call it in we're going to pull it in through our heads through our hands through our feet like pulling it into your body as you pull that light into your body and then you feel yourself expanding outward with this light it really gets sort of um maybe even like a floaty kind of sensation um i you know to me it's just me it's what i call feel i feel like i'm high <laughs> right just really free right just kind of like a loose sensation i'm trying to find words for this feeling that might help you to feel it for yourself yeah and so okay some people might be feeling a little too much sensation like in the third eye and in the crown because I just had that come in right so I think that's for me to let anyone out there know when you're watching this if you start to feel that and it's almost uncomfortable just imagine even if it isn't uncomfortable but it just feels a little too much you just kind of imagine you have this opening at the back of your head and your neck here and it's just allowing the energy to it's because there's so much energy coming in that it's like you need a little valve there to help it to flow easier yeah and if you had that pressure and you did that you would notice that it just softens yeah we'll just download you maybe this is the last thing we'll do we'll just download you with what it feels like to really open your your intuition to, to have your 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 heart your third eye your crown so well connected and yet going down the lower chakras really rooting yourself into the earth so that you can expand even further feeling yourself really grounded so let's do that let's just put down like a grounding cord coming down from the base of your spine all the way deep down into the earth just wrap it around the core of the earth right 
holding you safe and secure because that maybe some people were not letting themselves go because they needed that tether to the earth that grounding cord because the more you can ground the easier it is to expand out into the energies right so it's like the best of heaven and earth <laughs> you know knowing you're here on this planet right having this experience feeling safe and secure grounded as you expand out into these areas that we seem we seem to have forgotten about right that we kind of you know we come into the body we kind of allow this amnesia towards all of that so we could have our experience here right so now we're just moving more into being and operating through those higher energies in order to navigate our path and really follow what is true for us and just express it. So I feel so much better now after doing this and my throat was really closing up while I did the um, energy reading that I did before. <laughs> and that's when I got the message to do this healing right now. So you can keep yourself in this expanded energy, right? And have your eyes open, like my eyes are fully open, you know? And I can still feel this energy. I can even see traffic outside my window, but it doesn't, it's not like lessening the sensation of me feeling so expanded. So see if you, see if you can carry that throughout your day. And if you feel like you're losing that expanded feeling or something prevent, presents to you in your awareness um, that pulls you out of that, um, just ask to go back in. Ask your guides and angels, okay, assist me in really keeping my connection to the everything as I experience this thing that just presented to me. Because as you're in that more expanded energy, and if that thing was what we might want to call some sort of a challenge or a problem, as you have this expanded energy, you can more easily tap into solutions. Yeah, play with that. Play with that let me know what you think of this video if what you felt or even come back to the video after a couple of days or after or tomorrow to see how you know if you had this experience with really being able to walk through your day to day feeling this expanded truth of your true nature and with that comes magic and miracles to create and manifest all that you want in your life i mean that's the whole purpose right Really reconnecting back to that part of us that knows how to know beyond knowing and that is able to manifest with ease because it's just a th thought, a thought to become things, but in a quicker manner, right? We're moving into that fifth dimension. And so thoughts really are becoming things. Anyway, uh, I'll take that little tone from my computer as my key to end this video and I will see you on another video. Bye.